Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this interesting example related to sequences and series. We have to find out the sum of 0 0.7 plus 0 0.77 plus 0 0.777 like that up to 20 terms. We have to find out the sum of that. Now these are very standard problems wherever you have like 0 0.7 or maybe like 0 0.5 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.355 or instead of 5 you can have 3 or 2 or 9 whatever you want or the problem can be little bit different they can ask 7 plus 77 plus 777 or 9 let us say something like 5 plus 55 plus 555 all these problems the logic what we are going to follow is the same what we are going to do is we are going to take the number which is common in all of the terms we will take it outside then we will multiply and divide with 9 then we will try to convert that into a geometric progression a combination of geometric progression and some other terms so this is the logic what we are going to follow so let's go ahead first we will convert this into fractions so that this smells better in fractions so let us say 7 by 10 plus 77 by 100 plus 777 by 1000 we want up to 20 terms what I will do is I'll find it for n terms after that I'll substitute n equal to 20 in the solution now I the first step what I told you earlier is take the number which is common in all of them that means 7 can be taken common so it will become 7 into 1 by 10 plus 11 by 100 plus 111 by 1000 like that we need n terms now now again after this I mean we can't see that it's an arithmetic progression and geometric progression so we have to convert that into ZP for that what we will do as I said earlier first step is to take the common second step is divide and multiply with 9 so is it nothing but now 9 by 10 plus 9 11 are 99 by 100 why we are doing this because it's very easy to write down now as 1 minus 1 by 10 1 minus 1 by 100 1 minus 1 by 1000 like that so then it is very easy to convert that into a geometric progression so next step will be now we will try to separate them we'll write down these are same step next step will be 7 9 into we'll write it down as now 1 minus 1 by 10 that is 9 by 10 plus 1 minus 1 by 100 that is 99 by 100 plus 1 minus 1 by 1000 that is 999 by 1000 like this we have to go for n terms so let's close it with n terms let's go to the next step now we'll separate them we know that one I can how many ones are there I'll separate them and say 1 plus 1 plus 1 like that I have to do for n terms then this part is taken care minus of what is left out 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100 now I think you can see the geometric progression here 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 1000 up to like that we have to go for again n terms so now what is the value of 1 1 1 adding like that for n terms is nothing but n minus of what's the value of sum of geometric progression right let's write down one more step and show how it is a geometric progression that is 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 square plus 1 by 10 cube like that I have to go for n terms 
now if in this geometric progression we know a equal to 1 by 10 r is also equal to 1 by 10 what is the formula for s of n s of n is a into 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r whenever r is less than 1 here it is r is less than 1 because 1 by 10 is 0 0.1 which is less than 1 so we have to apply that formula so let's go to the next step and apply that okay that's equal to 7 by 9 into n minus now what is a 1 by 10 and multiply that with 1 minus r to the power of n r to the power of n is 1 by 10 whole to the power of n can i write it as 10 to the power of minus n divided by 1 minus r 1 minus r is 1 minus 1 by 10 let's go to the next step the next step will be 7 by 9 into n minus 1 by 10 divided by 9 by 10 and multiply with 1 minus 10 power minus n so i can cancel 10 and 10 i can cancel 10 and 10 then we are left out with 1 by 9 here so next step will be 7 9 multiplied with n minus 1 by 9 or can I say 1 minus 10 to the power of minus n divided by 9 this is our next step so what we have done here 1 by 10 by 9 divided by 9 by 10 10 10 cancels I will have 9 in the denominator so we will do couple of more steps where we will take LCM and simplify that put n equal to 20 we should be able to get our answer before that let me just close it here I think we have forgotten okay let's go to next next step will be 7 by 9 we will take LCM it will become 9 n minus 1 minus 10 power minus n which is equal to divided by 9 here so can I take that 9 out it will be 7 by 81 multiply with 9 n minus 1 plus 10 power minus n this is our answer now we know what's the value of n we have to substitute we have to substitute n equal to we have to substitute n equal to 20 so let's do that here that is 7 by 81 into 9 into 20 is 180 minus 1 plus 10 power minus n that is 10 power minus 20 so the last step is 7 by 81 into 179 plus 10 power minus 20 so for all the problems whenever you have numbers repeating like 0 0.7 0 0.77 0 0.777 or 5 plus 55 plus 5 or 7 plus 77 plus 77 the logic is take the number which is common outside after that multiply and divide with 9 then you will get like 9 by 10 99 by 100 now you separate them 1 minus 1 by 10 1 minus 1 by 100 so that's a standard set of procedure for all these problems which are same type so we'll do some more interesting examples in the coming session thanks for your time and support bye for now keep smiling and sharing